to uh, Shane, but hey, he looks all right, just holding the bike up on the trailer. That uh, means OK as uh, we look to a uh, good start here with our uh, uh, Escot Park uh, Hotel uh, 250 production and our Embers at Escot uh, Lightweight production. Two uh, fast, the smaller capacity bikes. The biggest of them, uh, 390, the smallest 250 cc. So uh, here we are now with our uh, Escot and Embers uh, 250 and lightweight production class get away. Remembering, of course, uh, courtesy of uh, Escot Park, uh, simply Nigella. Yes, indeed, the uh, uh, mega uh, chef and superstar Nigella coming to uh, New Zealand, but more importantly, coming to uh, uh, ILT uh, Stadium Southland on Tuesday, 26th of January. Tickets available for that. More importantly, Dying and Embers go into the draw and see if you can win them. All you've got to do is dine there uh, and uh, be part of their a la carte menu from the 12th to the 13th, and they'll be drawn on the 24th, giving you enough time to repair for the greatest night out in Southland with uh, Nigella on show. All right, uh, Dennis, Tim, uh, Grant with uh, Kevin. Uh, well, in fact, we should have Richard in there as well. And then go back to Gav Veltmeyer because Gav's bought one of these KTMs as well. So he's getting a fist to racing with his own uh, F3 bike or Super Light, as it's now called, along with his uh, new lightweight bike. And remembering those 250 production bikes in there where we've seen today the excellence of uh, Jacob to get a uh, superb race. So well done, Jacob Stroud. Jacob Stroud, Alex Bowers, uh, Lewis Bray have proved to be our hot three in that uh, 250 production lineup. So a uh, good start away on that uh, opening lap to watch as we start to see the slipstream. And it is MacArthur in front on the new Kawasaki Ninja, there he goes, so Tim MacArthur up, good work by uh, Tim to get that uh, advantage in the early stages, so Tim MacArthur, Dennis Charlotte, Richard Willits jumping from 5th to 3rd uh, ahead of Grant Ramage and uh, Kevin Goddard, uh, Richard Grant and uh, Kevin, uh, combined age of those three guys are probably around about 140 years, you get the idea, not the youngest of guys that you'll find on a racetrack, but I tell you what, uh, still great performers uh, off the track as well, and uh, just loving the commitment they've made over the years, and more importantly, people like Grant Ramage saying, we've got to revitalise uh, road racing, put his money where his mouth is by buying a brand new bike to get out on a racetrack that uh, Timaru Yamaha is in this new lightweight class. He said, we want a new class for these bikes. And he said, well, I'm prepared to buy a bike and go racing. That's what he's done. The brand new uh, 20... Uh, 15 model uh, new uh, Yamaha, uh, well it's actually called the uh, R3 and from a Yamaha point of view a fantastic uh, bike, the uh, uh, lightweights in there, they're really the number uh, 50 to talk about uh, down here today with uh, Grant Ramage and uh, that bike is in fact officially called the uh, YZF R3, so well done courtesy of Timaru Yamaha and uh, ESIE, so uh, great support behind the Embers of Ascot's uh, supported class with our lightweight production and there they are, all oh, of that side to side, side to side, nothing in it, nothing in it. Tim McGarza, Dennis Charlotte and uh, Spider Staples. Uh, it's getting a little bit harder for Dennis to uh, get past. So uh, Tim holding him at bay. Well, in the last race, Dennis led pretty well every lap there on that start-finish straight. Tim McGarza often popped his nose forward, but it's the other way around. But going around that big sweep with a little wheel in it. Tim opens up a little bit of uh, room there, but there's a lot of slip that goes on in, in before this castle corner. And expect Dennis Charlotte up on the inside. He tries up there on the inside, sits it up for further, and that means he can brake for longer. As, 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 of course, when you lean over a bike, you've got to trail off the brakes a little bit, but uh, Tim MacArthur shuts the door on him, but Dennis is not going to give up here. A massive battle going on there for third place, and uh, Neil Ritchie mentioned that this is a new bike for... Uh, for Grant Ramage on the 50 machine. This is his second bike for the season. He actually bought a Rick Kawasaki 300 and then his Yamaha, uh, the team that he works for and sponsor says, no, no, we can't have you on a Kawasaki. We're going to give you a brand new Yamaha. So that was the enthusiasm. He didn't wait for it to be given to him. He went out and bought his own uh, Kawasaki 300 but then got onto the Yamaha. And what a beautifully presented bike as well. Absolutely. Look at these boys coming along the start finish line. It's that slip streaming to the max. It's, uh, Half a wheel in it behind, that's brave stuff there for Dennis Charlotte there. They're side by side going at the end of the front straight. It is going to be Tim McArthur just in there, but mate, you can't even see that. Half a wheel's expanded to about two and a half wheels, but that's all it is. That, the legs of that Yamaha come, uh, that come around that corner a little, a little bit quicker. Tim McArthur opens up maybe six or seven bikes. Run very, very wide in that corner. We saw him go off uh, under the white line, maybe into the grass on one lap last uh, race, but uh, now he's got ten bike links above Dennis Charlotte there. The battle's on for second pl uh, third place, sorry. It is uh, Grant Ramage with Richard Willits there. In uh, fourth place, Kevin Goddard's got a box seat view of this. And then we go back to Gavin Veltmeyer on the second of the KTMs on the track. Remembering those guys share the same pits as well, Richard and uh, Grant. They both come out of Timaru. They're good mates. They've raised many, many years. In fact, if, if those guys could put together a... Uh, 
a, a, a dollar per lap that they've ever raced on around New Zealand. They could go on a world ride trip for three months, I reckon. They are just so incredible. And again, just continuing their commitment. Over 50 years of age, I think it's just uh, outstanding. And two great guys. Here they are, good mates as well. They do a lot off the track as well as on the track. They put it together and then it comes to a race meeting. And there they are, literally side to side when you've got two identical machines out on that racetrack. So great to watch as well. Still Tim MacArthur over Dennis Charlotte. Still Grant Ramage just over Richard uh, Willits. And then going back to the Kawasaki with uh, Kevin Goddard in there. And of course, his son Joshua is in the uh, pack as well. And amongst the uh, 250 uh, production flies, he's 12th overall. But when we look at the uh, 250 production, I think he's about fifth place. He's been very consistent with that uh, this year. One, two, three, four, five, no, in fact, make it sixth. The sixth place in our 250 production lineup, still being led by Jacob uh, Stroud, still with Lewis Dre in second, and Alex Bowers in third. And the Alex Bowers, uh, still for me, uh, Spider, uh, best presented uh, bike awards for uh, these uh, championships, uh, what those guys do, very professional. To think that they're a lesser standard of a bike, but they do not let their own standards personally uh, drop just because they're a less high-profile motorcycle. Well, last year the high-profile uh, team, of course, or last couple of seasons, because the 250 class was the leading class, that's been pushed back a little bit by these 300 lightweights. Massive, uh, massive... Uh, entertainment out of the lap times the lap times between first and second place are separated by just six thousandths of a second place six thousandths of a second and that's between uh dennis charlotte in fact they go over the start and finish line what do we got here i reckon it's two thousand no it's five thousandths of a second as they go across the start oh. finish line with dennis charlotte finally getting into the lead but uh as he does that he uh, gets taken into the first corner that big sweeper by uh, tim mccarthy so we go back to third and fourth spot there third and fourth is uh grand ramage and richard Willis. They are separated in their fastest lap times by just 12 thousandths of a second, just 12 thousandths of a second, and uh, we saw them across the start finish the line, six thousandths of, uh, eight thousandths between them or something like that, and that was less than uh, half a bike length, and that was uh, absolutely amazing. Grant Ramage has got a bit of a break uh, over Richard Willits here, he's probably got ten bike lengths, so uh, what do we got? We're on lap four, lap four, lap five of a... Uh, we are, we are an 8 lap race, 12 lap race today, 12 lap race today for the final race in the 250 production and the lightweight class here at Teratonga. Don't forget folks, you can watch this stuff live now on CTAS Live Timing. In a couple of days the footage will be loaded up. You used to have to pay $2.50 per race to watch it. No, you don't have to do that. You can watch this footage for free. And you can also watch over a thousand hours of pre-recorded uh, Footage from the uh, from the CTS uh, live timing there before 19 thousandths of a second between first and second but and uh, side by side. Back the other way, it was yep. Tim in the front there, but uh, and Tim leads into turn one there. And in fact, I can't even see two bikes almost there. This, remember, the Yamaha is just that bit quicker out of the corner, but not this time, not this time. Dennis Charlotte is hugged on the back of him, so he's getting into the slipstream behind. Castle's a great passing place, but Tim MacArthur knows that he shuts the door there and Dennis Charlotte settles in behind maybe three bike lengths. The battle is on again. I said that Grant Ramage was getting away from Richard Willits, but now Richard Willits has closed it up for third and fourth place. The 50-year-old, 54-year-old now, is he 54, probably Grant Ramage? Maybe 53. But he's still got hair, so who's counting anyway? <sighs> well, I'm keen to thank you indeed to uh, NicoleMXT.co.nz and our quality results update here. We've now had uh, for our uh, Supers class, a uh, Super Sport class that is, we've had uh, our uh, six races now through, well, in fact we've more than that for this class, that's another story that's because of the restarts, but we've actually had six races with scoring all of the uh, points in total, and now sitting on 128.5, Cameron Hudson in first place, second Daniel Medham on 110 third Shane Richardson still with that uh, DNF on 75.5 and then go to Damon Reeves 75 5.2, 69, Aaron Hassan, uh, you got uh, Jeremy Holmes in 6th, 7th, Seth Devereaux, 8th, Ted Collins, 9th is uh, uh, Marcus Begley, and in 10th place, Alex Phyllis, who won't be uh, competing anymore in the series. So today's results overall, Dan met him first, Cameron Hudson second, and uh, Shane Richardson still got a third place today with just two finishes. Spider, there you go, that's how decisive those points in our scoring, so uh, well done. Back to the race with you, Spider Staples. Well, Dennis Charlotte led out of the big sweep and then the Castle Quarter and Tim MacArthur. This is the best, best passing prospect spot on the circuit for these two uh, guys, in fact a lot of passes happening into the castle corner, and uh, Tim McArthur tried up on the inside, but Dennis shut the door and had the line, and and still got it, they come out of the hairpin, there's not even half a bike length in it, not even a half a bike length, we need to actually look down to the 250 class, Jacob Stroud, Alex Bowers, Lewis Dre, James Squire there, the top four in the 250 class. So that's a change class. again, so remember it was Alex in front of uh, Lewis early in the race, and Lewis got him back, now we've seen Alex get uh, Lewis back because it is generally, after all, a, a Jacob Stroud benefit, he's just so good in this class, 
They had that hiccup with uh, having the wrong tyre for the uh, first race, so he's lost points, so he is playing catch-up, so he'll be keen to see with another victory that he's made up 15 of the uh, 45 points, so with 30 points, yes, he can uh, still do that easily uh, next week with uh, getting uh, 15 of them back and 15 at the final round with one. As long as he wins every race from here, Spider, he can move from about 7th place after round number one to, a, uh, to the end at the podium, but he's going to need to win every time. Quite uh, possible to do that. Right, back markers through the Cattle Corner. Just one back marker. They got through there right. It is Dennis Charlotte still in the lead there with Tim MacArthur, maybe three bike lengths behind and uh, action are plenty out there at the front. As is all the way through, a massive battle between number 69, number 69, Alex Powers. There was only half bike length in it between, uh, in fact, less than a tenth of a second between him and Lewis Stray as they go through the start finish line. And uh, 250 production racing. Absolutely excellent. Further down the field than the uh, lightweight out there. Uh, what's happened to Mihi Banks as well? Mihi's out there as well. She had a clutch failure at uh, at uh, Ruapuna last weekend in sidelined. Had, had a crash in the uh, last race. She followed uh, Damon Damon Rees uh, falling off over on the hairpin. So uh, a little bit. In fact, it was politely worded to me that she got a little bit of a nudge. So uh, whatever the story. Bad luck for Mihi and uh, taking an exit. There we are. Down with our uh, update at the moment and uh, still on with those guys and a narrow margin again. But it is the uh, uh, great efforts out there that we're watching these. Uh, Top two riders, Dennis Charlotte, Tim MacArthur, back in favour of Dennis by 0.4. That's one of our bigger margins. Grant Ramage still doing it there over Richard Willits. We saw that uh, buffer uh, move out to be a little bit, or change, in fact, for uh, that. No, still with Richard, then Kevin in there. So uh, there we are at this stage. Still our same uh, top five. We're just uh, jostling the uh, order at the moment. Took a long time for Dennis to make his way past uh, Tim. Tim uh, uh, had it for the first uh, three or four uh, laps. Then we saw Dennis get it. Then Tim got his nose back in front. And now that Dennis has got it in front, he seems to be increasing it. He's got a, uh, a best uh, time here of uh, a 110.564. What are we going to say, uh, Spider, for a, a, a 300cc bike or thereabouts for these ones? This new lightweight class to do 110s around here is pretty good. These guys are doing what? Were they maybe scraping a 170 today? Maybe 170 Ks? Yeah, you'd have to say that off the end of the front straight. Absolutely excellent. I'll tell you what, I'm going to tap my hat off to Angela Charlotte as well. That's her bike that Jacob Stroud's out there riding. Remember, he had a crash last weekend oh, yes. too on it. And um, Angela's own race bike, Dennis has raced it before. Other people have raced it, but she's lent it to Jacob Stroud. So thank you very much, Angela and Dennis, for uh, loaning that machine. OK, I think we've got a bit of a uh, spread out there in the f at the end of the start-finish line. It is uh, Dennis Charlotte's got maybe an 80-metre buffer an 80 metre buffer as they come out of the big sweeper here at Teratonga. Perfect conditions for racing today. Light cloud in the sky. There was a bit of drizzle when I came out this morning, just a bit of spattering on the windscreen, but it's warm, it's the breeze, it's almost non-existent out there. It changed from a southerly to a little bit of a northerly, but the MNZ flag is barely holding itself up. It's that nice and quiet here. So excellent racing there all the way through the classes and uh, none better than this class here. Like I say, they, uh, the first two bikes were just six thousandths of a second between their own lap times earlier on in the race. I haven't checked them recently because there's so much action on the track. And the second and third bike were 12 thousands of a second. How close is that, Neil Ritchie? Great to watch indeed. And uh, all the way back with our 250 production to uh, the likes of Phil Denovan. Phil uh, doing the uh, support class as well of racing. So he's getting a, a bundle of uh, rides in here today. Uh, six races over these uh, two days. So good to see him getting a double header like we're seeing from uh, Dennis Charlotte out here. So uh, it's the uh, Dennis and the uh, Tim show and the uh, margin. Is that an increase? I think it will be. I think we've gone out a little bit further. Keen to get an official update uh, of it off the clock 0 .9, 0 0.9 so we're nearly out to one second that is huge when you take a time compared to these two of how close they've been throughout this entire event and here we go with the Yamaha and Yamaha show that is uh, damage and uh, Willits oh look at that Richard 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 looking for the slipstream I think he's got the advantage he's tucked them all away now up on the inside Richard Willits but can he make it stick he's got to stay shallow on that big loop corner because watch Grant Remage he could just dive back up on the inside look at that in fact he might be trying might be trying as we speak as we look to the exit of the uh, loop fence Fantastic corner, the Invercargill Oil Shop, Caltex corner here at uh, Teratonga. And a lovely bit of work done by Richard Willits. All of that good work for uh, with the white flag. That was happening on the white flag or the lapper, the lapper. Let's hope the lapper just holds his line. And Richard trying to muscle his way through there end up making the turn and yes uh, they go on the inside the lapper common sense uh, way to be riding just held his line there and that gave the gap for both Richard and Grant to go through and this will be a bit like the uh, Andrew Stroud Scotty Moyer thing uh, that we had earlier today yes uh, Spider where you're going to lead for uh, most of the race and then lose it just at the end so 
Could it be uh, damage control at the moment as uh, Grant Ramage uh, holds on to it? As we check out our race lead, well done there. That is the uh, Dennis Charlotte uh, uh, team, Tim MacArthur show. So well done, guys. Great to watch there. Narrow mark. Oh, down to 0 0.4, 0 0.4 of a second. So Tim came back, but not enough. He'd made up half a second on this one. If we look out down here, here it is. Willits and damage. Yes, well done, well done. Richard Willits and uh, Grant Ramage. Great effort, guys. Love your work, love your work. And uh, Grant Ramage will be saying, man, oh, man, what have I got to do to keep this man back? That was spectacular. As we uh, look out to the others to update, well done Kevin Goddard through there. So uh, Kev Goddard uh, claiming a very good uh, fifth place. Remembering our 250 production, keeping our eyes out there for the excellence of young Jacob Stroud. We've got uh, Gav Veltmeyer, he came home. Now there's a gap, it's almost like a...